for the, for the anti-inflation investment model, but I would say the Bitcoin is better than gold, mainly two reasons. First one is, you know, no one can fake go Bitcoin. That's the key with the you know, blockchain technology. It's a very, very like robust one, but you know, the since like the gold is a physical model one, and you know, there, the things we ha I have to say here, that some people want to try the, you know, the gold feature or the price model or something, but it's not the actual asset, it's just a price. So you need to buy the physical gold like this way. But once you know decided to be you're gonna buy like this kind of physical gold, you know someone make the fake gold. But in a Bitcoin, there is no risk that, that kind of model here. Okay, that's why. And the second reason is the higher portability and the lower security cost on the crypto assets. It's not actually. A, not a Now, you know, in the previous slides, I summarized about the, what kind of social change was going to happen you know, during the moment of the corona, shock, corona crisis, also after the corona crisis. And from here, let's review about, you know, what kind of new investment trends coming up on the corona crisis, also after corona stuff too, okay? And the first thing is that we have to think about the anti-inflation asset investment stuff because, stuff, because currently, you know, corona crisis is happening, so you know, central banks is so seriously printing their little money into the market, just like this way. Okay, then why they are so serious to print the money or including quantum easing stuff? You know, because of this one, because this is a slide from like this Twitter guy. So you know, they're gonna he's gonna compare about S and P 500 price index in a during moment of the great depressions and the corona crisis, and then you know, blue one. Is a you know, great depression moment. So in a you know in a peak level, in the southern day as after the S and P price is you know the minus eighty percent into this level, and when you look at the corona shock level, it's kind of very really similar here, right? So I think you know almost we're gonna experience the same you know economic recession level in this during the corona crisis stuff. That's my expectation. So in order to protect you know financial like in those kind of crises, you know almost like the same level of the great depression stuff. The central banking, what they're doing right now, is printing a lot of money. Okay, so which means that you know they're gonna you know issue more money. We're gonna experience the risk about you know inflations. So the money value is going down right this way. Okay, so the things we have to think about is actually this one. Mainly, you know, mostly people think about the gold with the kind of best assets for for the for the anti-inflation investment model. But I would say the Bitcoin is better than gold. Mainly two reasons. First one is you know. No one can fake go Bitcoin. That's the key with the you know, blockchain technology. It's a very, very like robust one. But you know, the since like the gold is a physical model one, and you know, there, the things we ha I have to say here that some people want to try the you know the gold feature or price model or something, but it's not the actual asset. It's just a price. So you need to buy the physical gold like this way. But once you know decided to be you're gonna buy like this kind of physical gold, you know, someone make the fake gold. But in a Bitcoin. There is no risk that, that kind of model here. Okay, that's why. And the second reason is the higher portability and the lower security cost on the crypto assets. It's not actually not about you know, Bitcoin, but also other crypto assets still, altcoin stuff too. But compared with gold, first of all, gold is a physical ball like this way, so it's kind of a little bit you know risky for you to you know bring this kind of gold over the world. Okay, you have to save this one inside of you know, chamber box. You have to keep this one it's kind of security box or something, right? And also you know. It's not portable at all, okay? Because you know it's gonna be heavy. But in a Bitcoin or altcoin, you know those are the digital data. So that's why you only you need to save the data inside of this kind of US memory and put the password on top of like you know this kind of password model US memory stuff. So to me, you know Bitcoin is a much more attractive investment for the anti-inflation asset investment, okay? The next one is a remote walk on a, on a plus e learning tool too. So this is kind of future like you know walking style and running model too. So, so when you look at the stock market, you know clear signals are already happening because like Zoom or Slack, you know those player is you know the plus level even the S&P plus is you know crashing right at like this moment because like you know it's not about you know this is a critical difference compared with the Great Depression. So in a Great Depression moment 1929. You know, all the economic activity is going uh, going like this way, but in a corona shock, it's a little bit different. 
because we're gonna also promote the new social regime, a new lifestyle model is coming up like this way. So the Zoom is like a good example. Zoom is you know provided you know video conference services, so we can apply for the not only about the office working model, but also the e-learning model too. And the slides provide also collaboration too. So a lot of like an office worker wants to use one, you use these services on a remote working style. So that's why you know their you know stock price is going like this like this way. Okay. And then another you know, big trend is live streaming too, such as the YouTube and the tokenized, you know, the blockchain-based YouTube one, the DLive, this is a new trend. And, then, and then one of the biggest influence on the virtual like you know, kind of streaming services is live and the sports entertainment industries. Because like, you know, there is a huge crest of risk in a music live, also the sports like NBA. I'm a kind of big fan of NBA. So they can't hold you know, this style of the events anymore. They have to choose they have to decide to hold without any kind of like audience in their stadium, stadiums. So they have to hold the events in a virtual basis. It's gonna be a great new trend. Also a lot of like, you know, you know additional services will be gonna come up in this like a live and a sports entertainment in an area, you know, live streaming, you know, environment stuff. So, you know, there is a huge potential out there here, okay? And then even like, you know, I think, you know, the Olympic game also going to the virtual space. So in my forecast, Tokyo Olympics is not gonna never happen. Ever, never, ever happens. They're gonna go into the virtual game. And then that's actually also you know, promoted by Bitcoin crypto industry stuff too, because like, you know, the Japanese economy putting in a huge, in you know, a serious danger. That's why, okay? And the next big trend is a DeFi, decentralized finance, which is one of the key mission in the blockchain space. So, so create like financial you know, infrastructure you know, like this way, centralized model, but with the blockchain, we're gonna provide a decentralized you know, financial system stuff. And then what kind of things you know happen in the financial market is actually we can learn from the you know analogy from the internet. Okay? Because like you know the internet decentralized the media industry. And then how is it gonna happening is like this way. So the, before the internet, the TV was a major media stream on a you know media space. And then if you, you know artist wants to distribute the content to the user, all the time go to the filter of like you know you know, artists productions or TV channel or, or like, you know, you know, advertisers. And then there are a lot of like, you know, sexual harassment problem you know, happening in, in this industry too, right? But in the internet space, this kind of like a problem is ever happens because the artist can directly distribute the content to the user, like on YouTube, Instagram, blog, anyway, right? So, you know, this kind of things when happening in a financial space too, and what's the pain point in financial market right now is completely similar model in you know, TV industries. Because currently, you know, all the user like me or like you save our money into the bank accounts or any kind of like an asset management accounts. And those people like the bankers or like, you know, the venture capitalists, you know, manage about, you know, the money distributions on the user side who wants to need the money. Some kind of entrepreneur or small business owner or something, okay? Then, so they are the filter. So those time, all the time we have to you know, deal with that kind of like, you know, the filter in this way, but you know, this kind of, you know, this you know, filter is completely just replaced by user in a blockchain space. So this kind of things are happening in a decentralized financial, financial system, in a DeFi market. And then in the DeFi, we mainly have two major like, you know, you know investment trend. One is about the DEX, this is a slide from the, you know, one of the major DEX projects, the Xerox protocol. So in the DEX model, you know, P2P based, based you know, trading model is much more popular ones. This is you know, one of the biggest trend in a blockchain space for the DeFi. And the second one is in you know, a collateralized lending model. And the MakerDAO, you know, this is one of the major projects in a decentralized you know, the finance model for the lending perspective, okay? And then another decentralized you know, thing that's actually happening on the internet itself, and we call it decentralized web or blockchain 3.0 or web 3.0. So, so because in the current internet, you know, they you know, provide, you know, they're gonna make a huge you know, innovation happening about you know, those kind of media business stuff too. But unfortunately, you know, those you know, the media online media platform such as YouTube or Facebook, Instagram, and controlled by you know, these you know, major player with the centralized functions because all the you know, corporations, Google, Amazon, Facebook, Apple, is you know, stock companies, which is you know, a completely old fashioned model. So you know, in a lot of blockchain players, they're gonna replace their infrastructure based model to the blockchain based one. 
okay and uh, these my five project is I, i'm going to see the huge potential to develop the you know, decentralized internet model too so for example like you know distributed commerce platform and you know, origin protocol and a decentralized web browser with that you know decentralized advertising system is in you know, a brave browser and then you know decentralized credit computing in ethereum and a decentralized mobile you know cdn cdn dense and also the p2p decentralized cdn and can i think those you know five players is one of very huge potential to realize that decentralized internet okay and the next one is the deep tech for self sustaining economy so here i'm talking about more like a blockchain and internet space one for the new track trend but i think you know, deep tech is actually part of you know the blockchain or decentralized finance is actually part of the deep tech stuff okay and then, you know other for the other element to develop you know the deep tech stuff is you know, very very critical ones it's actually for the self sustaining economy and then you know i you know i have you know some of the focus on this like a new trend to develop the new technology stuff for the self sustaining economy and then let me share a couple of the idea here okay the first one is of course the renewable energy because once we're going to develop the circular economy you know inside the circular economy they have to maintain their own energies so that is why like we're not going to rely on the crude oil or any other kind of like you know the fossil fuel energy anymore because those energy coming from outside of the circular economy that is why self-sustaining ratio is very critical for the future economy that's why so you know we have to take you know solar energy wind energy or wave energy those kind of older like you know these energy stuff help us to you know develop the maintain about the circular economy inside about the energy i know energy distribution perspective energy pro and production perspective so this is so critical okay and the next one is the organic plant factory because like you know currently you know we have a global farming business in a global basis such as china us or you know france or something we can't rely on this kind of agricultural problem anymore okay because we have to end the globalism stuff so you know self sustaining like you know agricultural business is so critical and to develop you know the the technology if we're going to take in care of those issue is organic plant factory is sometimes people call it a vertical agricultural system so they're going to be you know they're going to you know build that kind of a vertical building itself and at each floor we're gonna set up some kind of water and the nutrition inside, and then we're gonna grow up like you know agricultural product inside. Okay, so the still the minimum production cost about each agricultural product stuff in this you know vertical agricultural model is still very quite expensive one. Only like you know expensive flour or expensive fruit stuff we can currently produce, but in long term uh, with this like a new investment trend coming up after Corona crisis stuff, you know the new capital is coming to this market and they're gonna develop more. Uh, more like a technical innovation would happen here so that's a huge potential here in long term for the how we're going to develop the circular economy or a self-sustaining economy in long term right and another thing is going to distribute the water you know, circulations because currently about the water provide or water producer stuff we hugely rely on a, you know those kind of big dump system but they're going to harm environment so heavy way also the production cost down is pretty expensive Okay, so that is why, you know, more like a distribution model, it's like a community based or house level, like a water reproduction process, it's so important for the innovation, you know, in a deep tech side. That's why. <laughs> and then next one is deep plastic. So it's another, another, you know, key elements because, you know, plastic you know, bag or plastic stuff, you know, extremely harm our environment. Okay, and a self sustaining economy, we can't do that kind of anymore. So, we have to you know, develop the deep plastic solutions. Now, who's gonna help us to decrease the plastic bag or plastic package consumptions, okay? So this is another big trend here. And then another one is also longevity is a big issue too, because you know, in a community economy or self-sustaining economy, we don't see any kind of like an economic ex expansion anymore. So that is why, as we're gonna explain the big country or stuff, so we don't need the big population to maintain economy anymore, okay? We don't need that kind of right anymore, which means that, you know, less populations is much more healthier way to maintain an economy. From this perspective, if you want to maintain this, you know, circular economy, more healthy way or more ideal way, you know, each human's like, you know, production, you know, labor term, you know, during the whole life measurements should be longer than before. So from this perspective, actually, that, you know, healthcare technology, if we're going to help the people get more like a longevity, longevity it's much more very critical long term that's why okay and for the last element you know new you know investment you know investment would happen in the deep tech space is a smart factory with a 3d blender because 
We need to think about the self-sustaining economy. If we want to more, achieve more higher SSR ratio, like in a lot of things we have to develop by ourselves. We have to build or construct by ourselves. So from this perspective, actually, you know, smart factory with the 3D printer play a very critical role. So that is why, you know, technology for the 3D printer or like a manufacturing process with the 3D printer should be developed more and more. That's why, okay? So this is kind of all the like, you know, idea that what I'm thinking about the deep tech space for the new investment trend on Corona crisis and also after the Corona crisis, okay? So that is all this time. So uh, I also make a lot of interesting contents on the crypto and the blockchain space, like the post capital, the singular side, singularity stuff too. So uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.